Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and yes, I have been tra traveling like a crazy person, still enjoying that but I'm not getting much of the time to record more YouTube videos but still I am here in the studio that means I can record more videos and can head back to travel tonight again. So let's get started and today we are going to be building up a quick script in Python and yes that was a random decision and it's going to be a personal Google searcher in less than 10 line of codes. Yes, you heard it right, less than 10 line of code. Now for all those people who are thinking, hey, you should make more professional videos like integrating Stripe in your app or probably integrating Paytm in your app or something related to machine learning, let me tell you, creating these fun script is something which every programmer should do. It it makes sure that you, the fun element of being a programmer is not getting out of use. So make sure you create these kinds of fun script. I know you are busy with creating ultimate UI or the amazing Django project, but these things actually teach a lot to the beginners as well as keeps you indulged in the fun element of being a programmer. So make sure you never forget programming is all fun and you should create these kinds of fun script as well. So what we'll be doing is you can all follow me along here and we'll be creating a very cool and fun script here. So let me first and foremost fire up my terminal. You can fire up your Windows command prompt and make sure Python 3 is installed in your computer. Now make sure you go ahead, uh, type a Python 3 in case you are on a Mac or an Ubuntu or any kind of flavor of Linux. But if you are on a Windows, you just need to hit Python and that's it. I have already talked about that in my series of Python quite a lot. So hit that and first and foremost, we're going to check whether the libraries are installed or not. So I'm going to type import and first library is yes of course request because whenever we make any request to web or anything this is kind of a must have it's the most easiest one. The one that comes up as a default in Python is going to be sys library for system arguments and parameters and just like that. One that we'll be using because we are sending some requests and we want to open all of these things into a web browser. Yes it makes sense to have a browser as well. Now don't worry in case it's not popping up I'll show you the way how you can install these libraries as well. And the final one that we are going to have is import bs4. bs4 if you know me you have taken on any of my offline bootcamp or online bootcamp is one of my personal favorite library. Beautiful soup is nobody can match that. Okay. Now comes up the problem in case these libraries don't pop up out your screen what you can do is just quit that and first and foremost if you have installed python 3 or any latest version pips comes up as a default. For Linux and Mac guys it's going to be pip 3 for Windows guys it's going to be just pip and you can simply say pip install oops I can type that correct pip install and then simply use something like you want to install uh, probably bs4 that is bs4 and that's it this is how you install that. For all the Mac and Linux guys, pip3 is the command that you're looking up for. And that's all we, what we need. So we're going to just clean that up. And now we're going to write a very simple line of code. What we want, we want to take uh, input parameter from the user. And we want to throw that parameter in a Google search and open that into browser tab. So we will be using a little bit of the regex, not much. I have talked about the regex in one of my video series on YouTube. So this is what we'll be doing. So first and foremost, we're going to import a couple of libraries, which we have talked just now. So first one is request sys web web browser. I can type that surely web browser and BS4. Yes, of course. BS4. So there we go. All libraries being imported. I would like to save that here. So in my test, I'm going to just save it here. I'm going to call this as fun google.py. Of course, there we go. So all libraries are imported. Now what we want to do is uh, we want we can actually print a couple of messages here like uh, googling something or having fun with Google, but I don't want to do that. I just want to directly get into the meat part of that. So first and foremost, I'm going to create a variable which is going to be a simple res. Uh, feel free to call it anything. What it's going to do, it's going to throw up a request onto the web browser. So we are going to throw a request.get method. Obviously, it's going to be get. And we want to use a Google URL, which is https colon slash slash google.com and Google has a search parameter you have seen that quite a lot and that is simply search question mark Q 
Q equals, and this is how the basic query is being made. Just after this, you put up whatever you want to search, probably Hitesh Shaudhary. So whatever you want to search, it's just up there. We're gonna concatenate it with something, uh, oops, just like that. And we want to use a join method. Join actually takes two string and concatenate them. So we're gonna take parameter from the system or the command line and uh, one of the good way of doing that is sys dot argv and inside that uh, we want to just grab uh, the parameter just like that i know it might be a little bit jargon to you but i'm not going to go in that why we are getting this one i think we have already talked about that in the python series but in case you are not getting it let me know in the comment section so our request is done whatever we are going to throw in the parameter while running this script through command line is going to take that first parameter only and we can search for that. That's actually a good news. Now we have to raise the status so that it actually uh, gets into the queue and do all the magical stuff. So we're gonna say res dot status underscore, uh, not the status, it's actually raise underscore for underscore status. Okay, there we go. And this is like the built-in method for this request library here. So there we go. Now comes up the fun part because whenever the beautiful soup comes up, that's always my fun part. So we're gonna create a soup. Whenever we use beautiful library, we create variety of soups and kind of go with that. Uh, feel free to call it anything, but we're gonna call this as soup because everybody does so. So bs4 dot beautiful soup, there we go. And now we can uh, pass on the parameter. So first is uh, res dot text. So this is going to be in the text format. But what we want to call, there are a variety of parsers. I think we have talked about one, which is XML parser in my uh, Python series where we talked about little bit about regex. Now we want to call the HTML parser for obvious reasons. So there we go. And uh, now we are going to have link uh, elements. There we go, link elements. Now link element is going to be a variable which is going to be taking help of this soup and we can select the result which we are getting in this entire HTML parser, okay? And we want to select only the only the links here. So how we're gonna do that? So it's gonna be soup.select, there we go. And we want to grab uh, just simply using the regex. So we are gonna just go for a total raw request here. And we want to just select the anchors here or probably links anchor would not be a good term here so there we go and simply we want to how many links to open so we're going to say uh, links to open that is going to be how many links you want to open in the web browser so we're going to be using a min function here and let's just say for fun stuff we're going to open five links here and we're going to get a length of this so we're going to say uh, link elements there we go so now we have got how many links we want to open. That's the part one of it. Now all we have to do is loop through this, uh, uh, loop through this link to open and open them up each individually in the tab of a browser. So what we have to do is we can simply say for i in range. That's the favorite way of looping through anything. And we are going to say link to open. There we go. And what we have to do is call this web browser element and just put an open. Yes, I know it's that simple to open a link in the new tab. And what we have to do is pass on this parameter, which is HTTPS colon slash slash google.com. And uh, then we can actually concatenate it uh, with a uh, link element, not link to open, link elements. And we can put a... Uh, indexing element which is i in this case and we can put a get request on this using this so this is a format um, i'm not doing anything up here this is mentioned in the docs actually uh, there we go i'm picking up exactly from there so there we go so this is what we are having the links elements are going to be throwing up now it's time to test the script and oh oh boy we have just we are just on to the 10th line and we have just finished that up and i can probably uh, just get rid of that and yes we did it in nine lines i uh, hope that it's gonna run because programs never run at the first time it's kind of a habit that i expect they are not gonna run first time they always require debugging so now let's just go up here and uh, we are gonna go into this file now so it's on my uh, desktop 
uh, in the test folder and if I do a quick ls there we go fun google.py it's gonna run with python 3 and we are gonna say fun google.py hit that enter and of course it's gonna crash because I didn't uh, give any parameter to that my bad so we're gonna say fun and I'm gonna just search for a string you can set a one word just like this here but in case you want to give like a big string you can use these uh, codes here so I'm gonna search for me oops I can type my name surely there we go hit that and uh, where is my web browser okay so it fired up my web browser up here with all the links uh, that is all fun and there we go so it gives a lot of now we can try that again uh, so that we can see that live happening up because my browser was not up and running I was not paying attention my bad okay so let's try that one more time uh, fun pie and I'm gonna search for my name and there we go there we go and right now it's looking like it's just basic stuff but remember it's just searching on the Google picking up all those links and okay I can, I can okay please stop there and it becomes much more fun when you just don't go for five instead you go for 15 and then you realize that how powerful this script is and I can just close them again just for fun stuff okay and it's gonna be absolutely super fun to run this again and it's gonna just oh my goodness and you know how it e easy it is to just okay that's me how easy it is to create a fun malicious script and whenever anybody runs that uh, you can open up like probably hundred or probably thousands of tabs with yourself uh, being on every tab and probably he's gonna go bonkers there okay so this was all quick fun stuff and I promise you I will be very soon back with the YouTube videos once my traveling is done traveling is also one of my fun part I'm visiting tons of universities interacting students directly there and I'm posting some updates on Facebook and Instagram as well so that's it for this video I hope you are enjoying some of the amazing stuff at this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and surely we're gonna catch up in the next video